In this tutorial, you will create a simple program that asks the user to enter the name, and then I'll put a message to the user that includes the name they've entered. And to achieve this, you will need to use variables. Now, with what we've learned so far, we could use the print method to output a greeting, for example. So print, remember lowercase, open parentheses, single or double quotes, and then type in your message. So the message I'm typing is, good morning, Terry, how are you? And then hit the run button, and you should get the output to your screen, good morning, Terry, how are you? Now, this is fine if your name is Terry, but what if it isn't? Well, the answer is simple. This program will not be of any use to you then. So let's see how we can correct this issue. But before we do, let's find out what a variable is and what part it can play in our programming. A variable is nothing more than an address location in memory. It can be used to store data such as a number or some text. You could think of it as a box. So in this example, the data being stored in the variable is an integer with a value of 42. And the variable has a name, x. The variable's name cannot be changed. So as you can see here, once again, I've assigned the value 42 to the letter x. Let's put this into practice. To define a variable, simply give it a unique name and assign it a value. So what I'm going to be doing is creating four variables. So my age is one so type in the variable name my age and assign it the value of your age the second variable will be my height so again insert your height the third variable will be my first name so i'm just going to be making this one up when we do put in the first name remember that because it's a string it needs to be in quote single or double so john and final one is sir name which will be Terry. Again, single or double quotes. What we have done here so far is we've defined four variables and the next step will be to print their values to the screen. But before we do that, I want you to take a closer look at these variables. So if you look here, once again, the integers do not have any quotes around them, whereas the strings do so when you are creating a variable please ensure that uh, if it's a string you put single or double quotes around and if you're dealing with numbers then you do not need to use any quotes the next part of the program will be to print the values of the variables that we have created so let's start off with print and open and close parentheses with single or double quotes my name is with a space and then after the second set of quotes which close the first string we need to hit space add the plus operator and then what i would like you to do insert the first name and then what we could do after that hit space plus let's add a space between the first name and the surname so we've put in a single quotes we've closed them but between the single quotes i put in a space and then i'm going to insert the plus operator again and i'm going to call the surname variable and then hit enter so what this should do here when we hit run it should print my name is it should look at the first name variable and call the value which is john and then it should have a space and then call the surname variable value which is terry so it should print my name is john terry so let's hit run and see if it works as it should my name is john terry so it does work now we'll work on printing the values of my age and my height so once again print open and close parentheses with single or double quotes and type in um I am and then after the quotes put in a plus and you can insert your age so call the my age value after that we can insert the plus and we can insert years old remember you need to open and call, close the single or double quotes and type in years old and let's just put a space there do you think this will work so what we're trying to do here we're going to print i am my age so it'll be i am 32 years old that's what we're expecting so we're using the plus symbol to join strings and integers together i personally feel there's going to be an error what do you think let's hit run and find out and yes it's an error can only concatenate str not int to str so what we need to do here we just need to type in str 
open and close parentheses. Once you've made the changes, hit the run button and you will see that the type error has disappeared because what you've done now is again you've told python that the integer is a string so you've confused python which allowed us to concatenate i am with your age and years old the final step would be to print out your height so print open close parentheses single or double quotes my height is put in a space and then close it and then space plus because we want to concatenate my height is with my height so let's convert it into a string open and close parentheses with my height variable naming and let's just give that a value so plus um, ft you might be putting your height in centimeters in meters so whatever you're doing make sure you get the right unit at the end once you've done that hit run again what we have done here is we've defined four variables and we've printed their values to the screen but it's not really useful so let's put this to some better use what we're going to do is we're going to use the input method to get some information from the user so in simple terms we're going to make this program interactive so to do this what you need to do after the variable name my age equals you've got the value there so instead of inserting a value what we could do is delete the value and insert input open parentheses and close parentheses with single or double quotes and we can say please enter your age and then we could put some colons and a space once you've done that uh, again same again my height uh, so delete the values inserted and just insert the input method and then open and close parentheses with single or double quotes uh, please enter your height again colons and a space uh, do the same again for the first name and surname so input method open and close uh, please enter your first name and finally delete terry or your surname and insert the input method once more with open and close parentheses single or double quotes and please enter your surname once you've done that what you need to do is hit the run button and enter the information so this is what should happen so when you hit run please enter your age so i'm just going to type in 32 uh, please enter your height i'll put in let's say six foot five um, hit enter please enter your name so bob and please enter your surname jones and hit enter so what do you get my name is bob jones i am 32 years old and my height is 6.5 choosing good names for your variables will make your program easier to understand and variable names as you can see can contain letters numbers and underscores but they should begin with a letter follow the rules here and you won't go wrong here are some points to remember when working with variables and programming in python start the variable's name with a letter any letter or number can be used in the name symbols such as hyphen slashes hashtags at signs are not allowed spaces can't be used when creating variables an underscore though can be used to join words together or instead of a space uppercase capitals and lowercase letters are different python will treat for example, score with an uppercase S and a lowercase S as two different variables. And one thing that you need to avoid when creating variables is to use words that Python uses as commands, such as print. Did you notice the lines of code in grey? These are known as comments. The comments are ignored by the program when it runs and it's only there to help you the programmer and other people using your program understand what is happening. In Python, as you can see, a comment starts with a hashtag symbol and it's good practice to include comments in your code. So as you can see here, I've put the hashtag symbol and then I've put in get an input from the user and store in a variable called my age. So when someone is to access my program and want, uh, wanting to edit it, 
they will be able to do this easily and someone that is new to programming will be able to understand what this program is all about so what i need you to do now is go back to your program and add comments to your code do you know what this code does some of you may be able to have a guess and work it out but there may be others that don't have a clue how about if i add some comments in for you so let's just hit enter add the hash symbol shift and three and then let's explain what this line of code is doing so it's basically getting the input from the user and storing it in a variable called name so that's what this line of code is doing whereas the second line of code the convert first letter of the name to uppercase the next part of the code convert all other letters all other letters of the name to lowercase and the final part bring name to the screen so you haven't really learned enough python yet to know exactly how this program worked if you've been following the tutorials but with the comments you get the general idea this is useful to other people trying to read your program but also useful to yourself when you come back to an old program and forget what it was supposed to do time to see if this program actually matches the comments that we've inserted so let's hit the run button and please enter your name so i'm just going to put the name in lowercase so y-a-s-s-e-r and then i'm going to hit enter so we expect the first letter of the name to be capitalized and the remaining letters to be lowercase so hit run and there you have it yes with a capital y let's try it again but this time let's put the first letter in lowercase and the remaining letters in uppercase and let's see if it works so first letter in lower and then the remainder in uppercase and let's hit enter and there you have it again so what it's done here is it's converted the first letter in uppercase as per mentioned in the comments and the remaining letters in lowercase it's time for you to challenge yourself again so let's see what you've learned fairly easy challenge i want you to write a program to display a banner for a user entering their name for example if the user enters their name this amazing banner could be printed to the screen now you can create your own banner design you don't have to copy the example that i'm sharing with you right now and please remember to use a variable to store the user's name not so easy challenge here i want you to write a program in python that asks the user for the name and their age these two values should be stored as variables output a message to the user that tells them their age in dog years so one human year is equivalent to seven dog years the output of your program should look something like this when you do run the program it should say please enter your name please enter your age and then it should print hello with your name your age in dog years is and a top tip for this task is use the int function to convert a string to an integer value before you perform any calculations the answers to these challenges will be uploaded to the next video